ANZ has received the green light to take over Suncorp Bank, the multi-billion dollar deal, ignoring concerns about how a lack of competition will impact customers. Yellow Brick Road Executive Chairman Mark Burris is here. Take us through it all. Mark, good morning to you. One thing that I can't grasp, because, you know, I'm not the smartest bloke in the world, but how does combining two banks lead to greater competition? Well, the, the, the weird uh, outcome of this tribunal decision, by the way, this can all be appealed to the Federal Court, and by the way, the Federal Treasurer can block it if he wants to, as can the State Treasurer. It, 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 it can't. What the, the outcome was, they're saying, it won't lead to less competition. In other words, it's sort of more of a negative. They're saying that, by the way, the brokers in the industry, like mortgage brokers, for example, make sure that all the banks get a fair share of the mortgage industry, which is probably right, because 72 percent of mortgages get done through the brokers. Um, but that doesn't mean a whole lot of stuff to me, because like, if I'm, a, if I'm a, a person who lives in Queensland, and I got money on deposit, I don't give a damn about a mortgage. I want to make sure my deposit rate's right. I want to make sure there's a branch around the corner. How does it impact Queensland? How does it impact anyone who's a customer? Well, you would expect that the same range of products that ANZ currently has will be pushed through the Suncorp process. So, I mean, we've seen this with the other big banks, like CBA controls Bank West, St George, and uh, Bank of Melbourne controlled by Westpac. At the end of the day, they're only going to have one banking licence. It's going to be the ANZ banking licence, and banking products that ANZ currently have will be pushed through the the branches. And if I'm a customer, the ANZ decision or policy on cash, for example, mm. can I get cash out of my account? Yeah, right. That's going to be a big, big issue. And I, I wonder whether they examine, do Queenslanders like to have a lot of cash and access to cash in order to pay bills instead of using credit I'm cards? I'm telling you, yes. Uh, just quickly, the RBA is saying it may be a lot longer before we get a rate, a rate reduction. Yeah, well, it, at this stage, it looks as though the RBA is going to hold the blowtorch to our bellies and make sure, make sure we suffer a lot longer than we have to. And they're probably going to push these cash rate reductions down towards the end of the year, maybe even to 2025. Good to talk to you, Mark. I think. <laughs>